In the next six minutes, I'll take you through all the steps you need to launch your first Shopify store. I'm Clary, I'm a web designer and developer, and from my experience building Shopify stores that are now earning $20,000 per month, I can tell you that the only things you need to start your first Shopify store is to number one, upload your first product, number two, choose a basic theme, number three, customize your homepage, and number four, create a simple navigation menu. Today we'll cover how to do all of that step by step, so let's not overthink it and get started. Okay, let's start by uploading your products first, even if they're just placeholders. Start by clicking on products, add products, and this is where all your product information lives. So after you enter your product information here, Shopify automatically takes everything you've entered and then displays it on your website like this. As a rule of thumb, your product name and description should make it absolutely clear what your product is and what the benefits are. I know most of you are overthinking, so I've written a chat GPT prompt for you to use. Just fill in the blanks and it'll spit out the best title and description for your product as a starting point. Okay, once you've pasted that in, you can enter your product image, price and cost per item. You can also customize what your products will look like on Google search, and you can enter the title in here. If you don't know what to write, I have another prompt that you can use, and that will give you a strong starting point. When you're done, hit save. I'm just gonna fast forward here as I add more products. The last thing we need to do is tell Shopify how much of these products we've got. So go to inventory, and enter how much stock you have of each product in the field labeled available. If you go back to your products, hover over one of the products and click on this eyeball icon, you can see what your product page will look like for that product. Now that we have products on our website, we can work on what our website is gonna look like. To do this, we need to choose a theme. So go to online store, and if you scroll down, you can see that Shopify comes with many different themes to choose from. Some of them are free and some are paid. Paid themes generally have more customization options, but if you're a beginner, I would recommend going with the Dawn theme initially, just to get used to how to customize a theme. You can add as many themes as you want and then preview them up here so you can see what the different themes will look like with your product. When you've made your decision, just hit publish, but for this tutorial, I'll be sticking with the Dawn theme. Now let's customize your home page. Click customize on your chosen theme, and that will take you to the theme editor. This middle section is a preview of what your website's gonna look like, and the left-hand side is where you can add more sections and rearrange their order, and on the right-hand side is where you can adjust what the section looks like. For example, if you want to edit the background of this image, you can select the image banner from the left-hand side panel, find the image settings on the right, and add an image here. And if you want to add text to the banner, you can just hover between the elements where you want to put it, click on the blue plus icon, and see what is available to put in. I can see text is available here, so let's select that. Then, you can rearrange it by dragging and dropping it where you want it to sit. Let me fast forward as I change the text. So, what if you want to add another section below this banner? What you can do is hover just below the image banner item on the left, click the blue add button, and scroll through all the different section options available. Let's go with the image with text option, and like before, I can just click on each element and play around with the settings on the right hand side. I'm going to fast forward here as I adjust my page. But that's it guys, that's, that's literally all the core cool skills you need to edit any page on Shopify. The rest is just playing around, seeing what's available and adjusting it to create the look that you want. And before I forget, here's how you change the logo. Select the header section, scroll down until you get to logos, and then insert your logo here. I just made mine really quickly on Canva. Now let's look at the live site, and I have to say, it looks pretty legit. 
We've got quite a lot of products here. So let's create a collection page to help your customers find what they're looking for. Collection pages are like categories. So for example, in our woman's accessory store, you might have a collection page called bags and another called shoes. To create a collection, go back to your dashboard, click products, then collection, and then click add collection. Since this is a woman's accessory store, enter the name here, add the products you want to include in this collection, upload a collection image, which will show up as a tile on your home page or whatever page you want to display your collections on. And when you're done, hit save. I'm gonna fast forward again here as I create two more collections, one for shoes and one containing all my products in it. The last step is to add these collections to your menu so your customers can see what you have available at a glance. Hit content, menu, and then select the main menu. And this is the place where you can add items on your menu and then arrange them. I can add my collections by going add menu, item, collections, and then selecting the collections that I've got. and then arrange the ones that I do want to keep. I'm just going to delete these other items that I don't want on my menu. After you hit save, you can see the collections on your menu and it's so much easier to navigate. Okay, now that the foundations of your store is set up, the next step is to set up payments so customers can start buying things off your website and you can start earning. So if you want to keep the momentum going and set up your payments, then click on this video and I'll show you how to do all of that step by step. But if you're still in design mode and you feel like customizing your website a bit more, then you can click on this video where I'll show you how to customize your collection pages and your homepage to make it look more appealing and also to make navigation easier. Either way, I'll see you there.